This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Welcome to Shora Online Training. My name is Tej and I'm explaining briefly about atoms and its structure. This conference will now be recorded. So, what is atom and why do we require atom? Atom stands for analysis data model. This conference will now be recorded. And we require it to generate reports by creating analysis data sets by following atom implementation rules. Simply, we can say it is one step away from the report. How do we prepare atom data sets? It is prepared from the two or more HTM data sets, which are already standardized data sets. This conference will now be recorded. Now, let's talk about the structure of atom. The atom has been classified into ADSL, BDS, occurrence, and other. ADSL stands for Subject Level Analysis Dataset. From the name itself, we can explain about the kind of data it captures. It only talks about subject level information. If no analysis datasets are developed in a study, then at least the sponsor have to submit the set to the FDA. And it is one of the most important datasets in Adam from which remaining atom data sets are developed by taking it as a base data set. Now, let's talk about BDS. BDS stands for Basic Data Structure. The data set which come under basic data structures are ADLB, ADBS, ADQS, and extra. So ADLB stands for Laboratory Analysis Data Set from which laboratory related tables and listings are developed. ADVS stands for vital analysis data set from which vital related tables and listings are developed. And similarly, ADQS. ADQS stands for questionary analysis data set from which many questionary related tables and listings are developed. Columbia suicidal ideation listings and tables which are developed apart from the cautionary data set. Now, let's talk about occurrence data set. In occurrence, we get the non-basic data structures like ADA, ADCM, extra, which are made, which comes under occurrence data set. So ADA stands for Adverse Event Analysis Dataset from which different treatment emergent adverse event tables are developed. And when we talk about other, in the other classification, we'll be having the sponsor defined analysis datasets, which are developed without following the fundamental principles of Adam implementation guide. Now, let's talk about how the variables are classified. In Adam, the variables are classified into required, conditional, and permissible. Those variables which are called required are, it should not have any missing values and its presence in the data set is must. Those variables fall under the category of required. When we talk about conditional, those variables which are included in the data set based on the conditions which are required for the analysis. Those variables come comes under the category of conditional. When we talk about permissible, those variables only be included if it does possess any values. Now let's talk about populations. Usually, in atoms, we come across many population variables. So, what are the populations we can see? Let's start with safety population. So, 
So we have safety population, intent to treat population, per protocol population, randomization population, and completeness population. So what population usually comes under safety population? The subjects who got randomized and who received at least one dose of study treatment. Those subjects come under safety population. What is intent to treat population? The subject who got randomized and they are about to take the treatment, they come under intent to treat population. What comes under part protocol population? The subjects who got randomized and have completed 80% of the study treatment without any major protocol deviation. Those population comes under part protocol population. What is a randomization population? The population, from the name itself, we can explain this randomization population. The population who got randomized, those population comes under randomization population. And at last, we have the complete population. Those subjects who have completed the entire study, those, those the population comes under completed population. And let's talk about some interesting facts in atoms with respect to timing variables. So when we talk about the timing variables, here in atoms, we'll be coming across the numeric date and time values. It is unlike SGTM where we can see only character timing variables. But in atoms, we can find both character and numeric variables. And traceability. Another most important thing we consider in Adam is the traceability, which includes the metadata traceability and data point traceability. It means the variable which are coming from the SGTM to Adam, we will make sure that there will not be any change in the data and metadata of the variables. This conference will now be recorded. Now, let's talk about flags. We generate different types of flags in atoms which includes our population flags, record flags, and parametric flags. Population flags are like, we have safety population flags, randomization population flags, completed flags, per protocol flags. So based on the population, we will generate these flags. When we talk about record flags, record flags are like analysis flags, which are required in analysis. And we talk about parametric flags, the all criteria flags comes under parametric flags. So when we talk about treatments in Adam, we have two types of treatment. We have actual treatment and the planned treatment. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. For more videos related to clinical domain, please like and sub subscribe my channel. Any questions or queries, please contact at the number provided on the screen. For any other information, please find below the subscription. Thank you once again.